Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenrolf here. I'm going to be playing the Modern Open League here on Untap uh, for the next season, Season 8. Uh, I'm actually not running Infect this time. I don't think it's terribly well positioned, and also there were some slots that I was debating. Um, and because of when this was recorded, we didn't have cards like Flusterstorm or the new Glistener Worm or anything like that just yet. So for right now, anyway, I'm running Merfolk. Shoutouts to Nikachu. Uh, and this is my list, so it's a 4 Benthic Biomancer list, 2 Mistcaller, uh, 3 Harbinger, Lord, Lord, <laughs> Merfolk Trickster, my internet's being slow, Silvergill, Kapala, just one Kapala instead of like a Kira Great Glass Spinner, 3 Mirror Regery, a Thassa just as a curve topper that gives you some wrath insurance and it, you know, scries. Consistency, yay. Only two spell pierce, which I'm a little iffy about to be honest, but I'm trying it. Four Ether Vial, four Spreading Seas, just a Cavern, three Mutavault. I could have done two and two, maybe gone all four Mutavaults, I wasn't sure. One Aboro, 15 Snow Covered Islands. Yeah, alright. My opponent is on Humans. This is Captain Gouda's Humans list. This is a uh, four Champion, four Noble. Three Kite Sail, four Meddling Mage, oh yay. And Meddling Mage is actually OP in a format where you have deck lists public. Uh, so given that, maybe I should have done Humans, to be honest, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, shoutouts to Halle Berry for her Invitational card. Also, shoutouts to Patrick Sullivan, I believe, for bringing that up. Patrick Chapin, there we go, it's Patrick Chapin. Uh, I, someone. Four Phantasmal Image, four Thalia's Lieutenant, four Thalia herself, little Thalia. One Kessig Malcontents. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a 3 1 for 3. Four Mantis Rider, one Militia Bugler, and four Reflector Mage. Of course, four Vile as well. Uh, we're looking at only 19 lands from our opponent. So pause if you need. Uh, sideboards, things to look out for. Uh, Oriok Salvager, a champion, not so. Cha Salvager. I've been playing too much Vintage. Not so much. Damping Sphere, not so much. Deputy is the one I'm worried about. Dismember as well. Uh, but that's really it. I don't think we're seeing Whirler Rogue, so it's Deputy and Dismember. And for me, it's Gutshot, um, two Vapor Snags, probably two Echoing Truths. And um, here we go. So let's get it started. So I am on the play. I see two lands. I see a Spreading Seas, which could be really good against them. Let's see what their, their first play happens to be. Um, and then Mirror Regery times two, a silver gill, and a benthic biomancer. So this is nice, we're going to keep. I am playing one of the most consistent uh, decks in modern, top tier decks in modern. It's not terribly explosive though. I, I let my opponent know that I was going to be recording the intro first, so sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry that took as long as it did. Shoutouts to Coffee. Shoutouts to Coffee for keeping me in this. Um, as my opponent said previously, that they're... Oh, they said keep. Okay, cool. That was, that was a way ahead. Uh, also, snow-covered islands. And then, uh, Benthic Biomancer. Not stuck like that. Into pass turn. Alright. Easy enough. And we're just going to sort this while we're at it. Gee, I wonder what that cavern's naming. Yup. Alright, since we're on the play, if this happens not to be a noble, then Spreading Seas is, is going to be the next play. I'm going to go for the cheeky mana screw. It also draws a card too, so that's, that's fair enough. Alright. Yeah, either the Silver Guild or the Spreading Seas is going to draw me a card, but I can maybe scrounge a free... There's an Aether Vial, so um... That's actually not going to be it then. So we'll untap and draw, see what we have what we have going here. Uh, Harbinger. Hmm. Hmm, buddy, buddy. Well, okay. So, um, that Aether Vial poses a problem. If that had been nothing or a champion, then we'd be in okay shape to spreading seas. Aether Vial makes me want to put a clock out, though. I can make it where they don't get to play as many spells if I spreading seas. If I use spreading seas here, though, so we're going to play out the other island, 
And Benthic Biomancer, by the way, right now it's just a 1-1 one, one for 1, so eh. But it can adapt, and when it adapts, when one or more plus one plus one counters are put on it, draw a card, discard a card. Um, and no, that's not a may, that's a must. But that's fine. Uh, now, they don't have any zero drops they're going to drop out, so I'm tempted to... Yeah, we're, we're going to do this now. I'm going to do this now. Spreading Seas. Alright, so I will draw a card. And then go to combat and hit them for all of one. Now, this is a little awkward with an Aether Vial in play. Um, that may not have been correct. Because even if I do mana screw them here, they're still going to be able to get something out with Aether Vial. That's just how it is, unfortunately. Um, but I might slow them down a little bit. Looking at their, their mana base again, it's 4 Ziggurat, 4 Cavern, 4 Horizon Canopy, which gets, you know, it, it's... It's mostly a blue-white deck. You have a little blue for, like, Medley Mage, Reflector Mage, a little red for Malcontent, um, and four unclaimed territory. So you have 12 lands that make every color, and four that make, eh, most of your colors. So let's see what my opponent's doing. Oh, crap, I forgot. I'm sorry. You have to uh, hit the little button. Forgot to hit the button. My B. Okay, yeah, that's what I was expecting. Hmm. Okay, so two champions. We're getting to the point, though, when you play a Merfolk spell, you may tap or untap target permanent. We can use that to get rid of Phantasmal Image, so I'm not too terribly worried about that. That said, you know what we just missed? Okay. I think that the play here should be Silvergill so that I can draw a card. Um, I don't think I'm quite to the point where I'm ready to adapt, although I can adapt at instant speed. Hmm. Hmm. I would like to draw a land. Um, let's see. If they go and attack, I can use the Harbinger to uh, spin, not spin, to kill this Phantasmal image, so that'll be fun. I think we're just going to skip combat this turn. Um, they're, although they are all tapped out, so I can I can bait, maybe, with a Biomancer. Bindic Biomancer. Alright, um, let's try it. One. Yeah, it's one in blue. Adapt one. I hope that they block with the actual champion. Nope, they just, they took. Okay, so that's fair enough. That's that's more or less what you expect. I'll uh, say main phase two. Silvergill revealing um, Silvergill. Let's just hide some information here. Alright, so that looks like it's good. Put the Silvergill back. And draw a card. Please be a land. It's not a land. Well, crap. That's a thing, I guess. Um, then we'll pass the turn. Uh, if we don't get a land next turn, I think we might just have to play the Lord so that we can try to keep up on, on power with these guys. Hmm. Hmm. Well, also, it depends on whether they're attacking or not. Okay. Please. Yep, Reflector Mage. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. That's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. Uh, because we're going to drop Lord next anyway, I believe. Well, no, actually, it looks like we're going to do Harbinger. Uh, so I'm going to be taking five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can live with that. All right. Uh, we're not dead yet. That champion's getting little, little big for my taste. Oh my goodness. Please draw a land. Please draw a land at some point. Alright, just to make sure this works, when it ETBs, you may return target tap creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. 
Alright, so we're going to target source this thing. Sack it. Bop it. Okay. And, uh, yeah, no attacks. That's a 2 3 with our 1 1 out. Pass turn. That's a scary looking ether vial, because it's on 2. Why? Why would you do this? Okay. What's it becoming? Ooh. I'm sorry. Uh, there should be a note phantasmal image, right? Oh, it's root cop. Okay, okay. I see. I see now. We got there. It doesn't have a note on it, but uh, it's supposed to be a copy of Reflector Mage. Okay. Whale. Yeah, cycle the horizon canopy. Makes sense. Draw into some gas. And you have a, um, an ether vial on three, so that's more than fine anyway. Hmm. So next turn I'll be able to play the silver gill again, though that's not quite what I'm looking to do. Ancient ziggurat, cavern, meddling mage. Ooh. What would you like to name? Also, I have eight cards in hand. Um... Let's see. Wait a minute, wasn't that... Wait a minute. Just a sec. Let's see. When was that? Tapped ether vial. I was supposed to discard a card. Hmm. I mean, not for nothing, it's going to be a silver gill. Anyway. There we go. Might be. Because it was end of turn. It was an end of turn ether vial, so when it bounced it back to hand, um, either, uh, end of turn, Ether Vial on 2 brought in Phantasmal Image, reflecting ma Reflector Mage was the copy, and I returned Benthic Biomancer. Alright, so now I'll be taking 9. Alright, cool. 1, let's see, oh, jeez. Hey, we got there. This game is not going well. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, we'll, we'll take a draw. Little late there, buddy little light there. Now, since we can't win from here, I think we're just supposed to scoop it on up. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, on your honor, that was what you were going to discard before you knew what Meddling Mage called. <laughs> And I revealed two silver gale adepts because that's so there's one in the yard two in the hand That's like a way of showing hey look. I, I had too many of this thing anyway um, And also it's not impactful at this point the lords are impactful the lords are impactful I guess it could have been biomancer, but theoretically if I drew a land and didn't play a, a regery uh, Then I could go Lord and benthic Game two? <laughs> Alright, we're scooping that one on up. That did not go quite as planned. Uh, the winner was Captain Gouda, and we'll do some sideboarding. Alright, whee! Gutshot goes in. Vapor Snag is a nice little tempo card. Uh, let me, before I add some more cards, let me take out some stuff. Uh, what does not do much of anything in here? Uh, it's important to know the wording on Kapala Warden of Waves. Um, abilities your opponents activate, and so triggers do not care. Therefore, Reflector Mage does not care about Kapala. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Um, let's see. So I will probably be taking Kapala out. However, I am anticipating Dismember, is why I'm considering keeping her in. Mistcaller does work on Ether Vial, kind of. It's a little awkward. You have to sack it first. And then they can just elect not to put the card in from Ether Vial. So it'll kind of buy you a turn with Ether Vial. That's not much. Um, hmm. Spell pierces are right out. I would like to be able to spell pierce an Ether Vial. I don't 
think this is a good Thassa matchup. I really don't. And maybe there's an argument to be made for keeping Spell Pierce in on the play, but I think I would rather have the removal for the creatures rather than Spell Pierce. Uh, Spell Pierce is not going to be hitting much. Again, let's go back to the deck. We see four Aether Vial. That's it for the main board, and I'm looking at two dismembers in the side. I don't think that that's enough. So we have two Spell Pierce out and a Thassa out, and I'm still strongly considering Kapala. However, Kapala. So she's slow. Um, by the time that I get Kapala out, Dismember may have already done its job. Um, you know, four Har or three Harbinger might be a bit much. Um, but there's Phantasmal Image in the deck. You know what? We're taking out Kapala. I'm sorry. I like you. I like you a lot. Um, but this is this is how we're doing it. All right. So this may be incorrect, but this is how I'm trying it. So. Here goes nothing. Alright, so looking at seven here. Let's see how we do it. Ooh, okay. So we have three lands, including one that attacks, a turn one ether vial. Uh, we have a spreading seas, and I can hold up the biomancer for the vial, and then a regerate. Super good I mean this is a this is a great keep. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're going to start off with an island, because I don't want to reveal anything to my opponent that I don't have to. We're going to do an ether vial, and I will pass the turn. And just for completion's sake, I'll add a counter at zero. Just an easy way to go about doing it. Okay, coffee. More coffee. Hey, geez, cavern. I wonder what that's naming. Noble. Okay. Oh, where's Gutshot? Alright, add our counter. Um, let's see what I draw. We're still going to play Spreading Seas here, because that's the most efficient usage of our mana. Um, I'm tempted, however, because I'm tempted to do Mutavault here. I think that's actually what I will do. I'll, I'll play Mutavault. And we're going to go Spreading Seas on your land. Draw a Cod. Draw a Cad. Alright, hello. <laughs> hiya. Oh, hi. Yes. <laughs> well, close enough. I'll, we'll take that. Ooh, another one. Uh, and I will say, pass the turn. Gonna have to do some stop on EOT shenanigans. <laughs> say hi to mom. Okay. We're all friends here. We're all friends. Especially me and this cup of coffee. Mr. J. Ooh, oh, okay. We're doing stuff. So, uh. Play out the Biomancer, as you do. I'm gonna pop you right over here, bud. This is gonna be so tilting to some people watching this video. I am kind of sorry. Kind of. <laughs> ah, crap. I slipped up. I slipped up. Um, that's not where Aether Vial's supposed to be. No, it's not. Okay, so we have a Spreading Seas again, but with Double Noble out, that really does not do much. It stops Kessig Malcontents. Right now, I think it's more important that I get out some semblance of a clock. Some semblance of a clock. So instead, we're going to go... I believe that it's correct for me to go... Hmm... Mutavault? One, two, three. Mirror Regery? Ah, Jay, Jay, you, you missed the ability to flash out another Regery. Although, I did just drop a, th uh, a three drop out, so... Ideally, you keep it on two, as I understand it. Um, you want Vial on two, not three. So that misplay could have been worse. Alright, so this is a 2-2, two -two, which sees a 2-2 two -two on the other side. 
should I attack? And the answer is yes. This is a weird attack, but remember, that's going to get... Oh, there's Dismember. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Okay, um, that looks bad. They just spent a card and four life, so that's way more. Okay. And uh, then we'll... Oh, crap. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> missed which one. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Okay, no, 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 no. Never mind. They played that correctly. So if they had the dismember, they hit the Lord. That's just that's just a bad play on my part. Um, and then we'll pass turn. Okay. If I had ticked that up correctly, then on this next turn I'd be able to tick it up one higher, and I could attack with the Mutavolts and flash in a Rejury. What's this? What's this then? Mantis Rider. Okay, that's a human. Human, by the way. Okay, so that really bad attack. Um, it did still deal four damage, but I would rather have the Lord. Okay. Uh, but we're still just. Oh, it's vigilant. Okay, okay. Seeing this. Uh, whatever. It's fine. It's taken six. All right. Ooh, okay. Okay. Let's add a note real quick. Merfolk. Yeah, I, I admit, this is not exactly my best showing. Unfortunately, it's it's not. It's, it's looking kind of ugly. It's looking grim for T1. Alright, we are about to get a 3-3 three, three that can bounce something, so that's fun. Alright, well, here goes nothing. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Oh, jeez, what's that? That's a reflector mage? I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. My body is ready. What do we have? And four, okay. Ooh, Whirler Rogue did come in actually. Two, one, one, colorless thopter. Now this is this is interesting to me because the presence of spreading seas and the one island in their deck means that those one ones aren't going to clog up the ground like my opponent might have been expecting. Um, but I guess it's fine to come in anyways because you have big attackers that can be exalted. Maybe. Maybe? And it can happen every turn because they're not sacked, they're just tapped. Uh, yes, okay. Okay. Okay, so they're going to, uh... Okay. So this is a three... Th Wait, no, it's a four-four. Uh... Thinking. I think I'm supposed to hit the champion here. It'll reset it back to... Well, actually, they can cast it this turn because of Noble, but it'll reset it back to zero counters. Um, something to target would be you. Come on, boya. Get back up there. All right. And cast it right on back. That's fair enough. And by the way, I took the three. That probably doesn't do very much, because they can just elect to attack with a 5-5 five, five Flying Vigilance Haste. Not that the haste part matters too much anymore. Uh, we're going to get a Merfolk Trickster. Oh! Oh! I like this! I like this! I like this so much! Let's see. Alright, so... Right now, we have two 3-3s. Three that can go in and attack. 
When it ETBs, tap target creature and opponent controls, it loses all abilities until end of turn. Um, so this means that if I want... Okay, that's 2-2. Two, two. It's a 1-1. One, one. If I would like for this not to be able to block my 3-3s, three then I need to tap it down now. Which I think is what we're going to do. Yeah, I'm going to have a team of 3-3s three head your way. It's weird doing it now. It's, it's really freaking weird doing it now. And maybe this is not correct. Target source is going to be the Mantis Rider. Yeah, I think this might not be great. I think this might not be great. Oh, ah, uh, crap. You know what? Um, it's too late, I think. I'll, I'll ask. I'll ask and see if it's fine, but whatever. Is that okay? I, I shouldn't even ask. It's not competitive REL or anything, but I, re I probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. No worries. You're right. You're right. All right. Um. I feel kind of bad even asking for that. Like, I, I'm. The, you've seen on in previous videos for this series. I give take backsies to other people, so that's. But you know. Eh, whatever. That's fine. Hmm. I'm trying to figure how I'm going to do this going forward. Um. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing this match. I think I'm losing this match. Alright, so two going there. That's fine. Alright. And the life total has been reduced, I think. Oh, jeez. Jeez, Jay. Right. Oh, wait, wait, too far. 16 to 10. Uh, what was the other block? Oh, it's Whirler Rogue. Okay, that's right. Well, I can live with that. And then we will pass the turn. Yep, there we go, that's one. Another one bites the dust. All right, my opponent. Oh geez, oh geez, that just upped the clock. What do we have? I'll just concede. I played horribly. Yet, yeah, no ma whatever they tell you, Merfolk is not an easy deck to play. I mean, relatively speaking. Um, can we please jam another while we're here? Just for fun? Um, two gut shot, two vapor snag. Minus one Kapala, minus one Thassa. And then, um, minus two... Oh no, no Echoing Truth. Um, that's a good question. Why not Echoing Truth? Because it's, uh, it is here in the list, but I... Hmm... I mean, so Vapor Snag is better than Echoing Truth in the matchup, for sure. And I didn't think Echoing Truth made the cut. I would have to take something like Mist Caller out. Um, and I wasn't ready to, to make that sacrifice. Um... 
And then what was the, oh, what else did I take out? It was two, spell pierce. Minus two spell pierce. Okay. Let's see. Scoop cards, start a new game. I hope that didn't uh, undo my sideboarding. Nope, okay, we're good. Uh, I will keep. I... <sighs> to dismember, yeah, the Whirler Rogues as well. Um, one Whirler Rogue and then Deputy of Detention. And three Deputy. Makes sense. I kind of just want to... would like to see a game where I don't suck. LOL. Yeah, you know where it's going. <laughs> you know right where that thing is going. Alright, so on my turn I'll draw. I'll... Which one is right here? I'm going to play Biomancer first. We don't have an Aether Vial to threaten yet. And then I'll pass the turn. Whew, my goodness. Oh jeez. Reveal all, and it's going to have to be, because it's non-creature, non-land. Yeah, non-creature, non-land, it's going to have to be the spreading seas, as you do. And then, on my turn, see, that's a 1-2? Yep, it's a 1-2. Okay. Well, play this. I guess we'll go, now, this is, uh, exile that card... Un or until it leaves the battlefield. So I have an incentive to go and kill this thing, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh crap, it's exiled. I just said that. I'm, I'm really good at this game, folks. I'm really good at this game. As you can see, as you can clearly see, oh man. Oh man. Oh man. You know, if I knew I was going to play this badly, I would have just played a brew. <laughs> just just a maybe a brew or two. Hmm. Should I play the miscaller anyway? There's still no vial though. So we're going to pass the turn. Putting up this super slow clock. Hi, Pinoy. Oh, jeez. I swear. Yeah, so Meddling Mage is a reason why you play a Mistcaller there. Yup. <laughs> yup. Alright, so I have two cards I would like to kill here. Two cards I would like to get. Re Marrow Regery. Huh. Okay. You see my hand. I mean, I guess it does... Maybe that represents Phantasmal in their hand. Alright, take the one. Interesting. Honestly, very much not what I have been expecting. I was about to say, I swear, if that's the card on top. Alright. Unfortunately, that has blue-blue in the cost, and, uh... Merfolk players know the, the joy of seeing a Mutavault there. That's, that's uh, not exactly what you would like to see. Not exactly. Uh, I am tempted to just play the Mutavault here. And, um... Hmm. Well, you know, actually... Not that one. The one that's summoning sick. Going to adapt. Oh, sorry. I would cut Mist Callers because they are, they are just utterly irrelevant. Because even if you sack in response to a vial activation, that's true. 
I don't, I don't know. I thought about it. I thought about it. They're not really just one ones for ones, though. They're also, um... Ooh. Uh, once again, we have a blue-blue problem, though. Hello? Okay. They can be a clock with lords, though. Or stall for time. Could have been echoing truth, though. Hello. I can spell. <laughs> And yeah, having taken the two, pass the turn. So can everything but spell pierce. The joy of being the Lord deck. Yep, so taking uh, three here. One, two, three. Uh-oh, oops. There we go. And on my turn, see what I hit. Nice. Scooch on over here, please. Hello, my, my mouse just decided to freak out a little bit. Uh, yeah, we are absolutely just going to go on the uh, play a lord. You know, with only two lands, it's probably a little too late to go for something cheeky like the Spreading Seas, but even if I played the Harbinger to bounce this, I still couldn't cast the Spreading Seas yet. Um, and here goes nothing. Go to combat. Hello? Hello? There we go. So we're looking at three, five, eight. Uh, yeah, there we go. It, it happens. And then I'll pass the turn. Pass it right on over. I swear, I'm, I'm not a terrible magic player, I'm just terrible here. Ooh, okay. Uh, it's a blocker. Wait, we actually a attacking? I don't have island walk. I mean, there, there's... No, there's not a trick. They're just doing it. Huh. Huh. Okay. What am I missing here? Well, there's... There's Spreading Seas. So if I Spreading Seas any of their lands, and then activate a Mutavault, I'll be able to swing for... Now, this one doesn't have Island Walk, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and they're at 9. So... If, on the other hand, I activate both Mutavaults, then I can swing with all five of them. They block the biggest one, which is three. Sure. Yeah, okay, they just did the math there, too. All right, yeah, we're just getting another game in. I am okay with this. I am actually going to try out the, uh, the Mistcaller bit. This is maybe where I should have asked uh, Nikachu before going on. Hey, bro, what do you do for this uh, for this matchup? And it is a tempo card. Echoing Truth is a tempo card. All right. Draw seven. Uh, we do see it right off the bat. We do see it. That would have been a miscaller, which admittedly means we would have had a one uh, turn one play. Okay. It happens. No worries. Yep, that's a thing. So we've got a noble and a cavern on humans. What can you do? What you can do is you can play that and pass the turn. 
Yeah, so I just have as my one drop plays now for Benthic Biomancer and for Aether Vial. Yeah, Aether Vial is uh, going on strike apparently. It didn't like the way that I played earlier and it's just deciding, nope, I'm not dealing with this guy anymore. He's a, he's a bad magic player. <laughs> Which, you know, not wrong. <laughs> Alright. I, uh, oh, I see Thalia. Okay, so Thalia is weird. Thalia doesn't do very much, but, you know, as you do, taking the one here, taking all of one, we'll draw. We will play an island again. Get out a Silvergill. Reveal... Just you, reveal Master, and draw a card. Cool. That's a thing. We're just gonna go on that game plan, I guess. Um, because I'm not gonna be able to get that Spreading Seas for a while, I will just play a Regery, and uh, then after that I'll play another <laughs> Regery. Have some shenanigans, I guess. It does foil if we get into, uh, yep, Swing 3. If we get into the late game where they're trying to hold up blockers, it does foil the ability to do that. And it also plays well with, well, it doesn't play with Aether Vial because uh, this is cast, not play. You see the word play? That actually is cast. Okay. Well, gee, Master of the Pearl Trident. Yup. Yup. Alright. Notes, Master of the Pearl Trident. I'm not even going to bother with that. That is fine by me. There is a... <laughs> there's a Vapor Snag. Uh, nope. Nope, we're not doing that. We are not doing that. We're going straight into this. And Thalia has First Strike and Exalted, so I'm probably just going to try to power through this uh, really quickly. I believe that that's correct. Also, if I attack and on the extreme off chance that they block, I, uh, you know, I get to play my Master back. Get that Master back. Do, 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 do. Get the Master back. Do, 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 do. Plus, because of Exalted, they're incentivized to attack with only one creature, even though technically it's a little slower. Three first strike versus two first strike, or, you know, two and two. Alright, so... Yeah, okay, they took that correctly. We got there. We got there, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Alright, well, we're about to have some stupid shenanigans in just a pit. You know, I also could have played the, uh, the Harbinger there, uh, just to bounce the Thalia. I don't think that that's appropriate, though. I, I would rather play out a Lord. Try to get my clock up. That's okay. That's okay. It's dead, Jim. It's dead, Jim. Alright, swing three. Taking three. One, two, three. Uh, hello. Swear. Ooh, Trickster. That's weird. If I had another land, I could go Trickster into Master. That would be interesting. If I had another blue land. Hmm. I mean, you just jam another Regery, don't you? Yeah, we just jam a Regery, I guess. Again, as you do. And, uh, pass the turn. I'm okay with this. I am A-OK -okay with this. And then we'll see what my opponent does. What do we have now? Swear, it's a mage. Reflector mage, the deputy. Oh, okay. Hmm. That is a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, no, no, we're attacking with both. Make it four. It's all good. <laughs> I messed myself <laughs> up last season, giving take backsies. <laughs> One, two, three. There we go. Alright. Huh, okay. I do have to actually kill this. It's not enough to remove its ability. So 
So, how about... So, I, I would like to save the Harbinger. And the reason is because I would like to bounce the deputy to get this uh, mirror back. So, maybe I play Trickster and then, um, and then play Master? Is that correct? You can also Vapor Snag it. That's not a bad idea, I guess. I can Vapor Snag the Deputy and then tap down Thalia. Hmm. Thinking. Huh. Okay, so Vapor Snag Depu Deputy, get back the Miro. Uh, then I can tap down Thalia with Trickster. I could also just play Trickster first so I get a one mana echo or Vapor Snag, but that doesn't really matter right now. All's even. Um, hmm, this is tricky. This is tricky. Also, I can try to do some really cute stuff, like, um, I can Spreading Seas the... I can Vapor Snag Thalia and then Spreading Seas the Cavern. But let's not. That's really, really cute for absolutely no reason. Um, hmm. Oh, jeez, this... There's a number of ways I can do this. I don't think that any of them are right. <laughs> yeah, I would... If I play that, I'm just going to tap down the Thalia and, uh... <sighs> okay. We're going to do this. This is cute. We're going to do this. Let's see. Target source. And then, you know what I'm going to do, bud. You know what I'm going to do. The master has arrived. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, this is a 3-2 versus a, you know, first strike for two over here. So that's not great. But we're about to get another lord on the next turn, so I can live with that. It does mean that the Thalia attack is going to be a bit of a problem. What's going on here? Has shaken meddling mage. Never mind. You see it. <laughs> it's all good. It happens to the best of us. See, I'm, I'm getting slightly better. And then that happens. Buddy, why are you doing this to me? Okay, wait, wait, wait. What's deputy targeting? Oh, has shaken. Okay. Alright, cool. We got there. Um, swinging three. That's with Thalia. No way in... Uh, you know, that's three. Thinking. Thinking. I can double... No, I can't. No, yeah, I can't, because that's... I don't have a lord anymore. Okay. Yeah, now it goes to my turn. So, let's see. We'll untap, upkeep, draw... Hmm. Crap. Crap. Got there. <sighs> okay. So bounce effects are kind of weird against Deputy, uh, unfortunately. And there's not really anything I can do about that. I can snag one of them. And then play Harbinger. I can just play Harbinger here. Um, no, no, I can't. It's, it has to be tapped. I, I can play it um, with Flash for two more, but I can't. I can't do anything about the deputy. So let's see. Vapor Snag. How about we Harbinger to return Thalia? Echoing Truth to get rid of the deputies, and then go for some big Alpha Swing. Is that the correct play? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I think that that's right. 
target source. Okay, I'm going to target Thalia. Make her uh, skedaddle. Get back to the hand. Get back to the hand, chickadee. You're cool. It's Glistener Elf. Getting bodied. <laughs> Um, may I ask? I'm flattered. I'm, I'm flattered. That's, that's correct. I am indeed flattered. Uh, who you are? If we've met, you know? I don't, I don't want to sound, uh, that sounds weird. Okay. Echoing truth. Target you. Echoing truth. Crap, go back. Go back there. Target you. I watch your vids all the time for like the past two years. Oh, dude! You're awesome! How did I. Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, so I get, I get these back. And, uh, that's nice. That's nice and all. That's in the yard. Now, go for the big strikes, right? Go for the big swings. Let's do it. So we've got, a. Uh, we're gonna go alpha strike here. As you do, you know. Go to combat. I see two lords. That's a 2-2. Two -two. That's a 2-1. So swing eight. Yeah. Sure. Wait. This is best of th three, right? Because if it's best of three, I lost that. The tiebreaker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, geez. We already mulled. Okay. Um, that's bad. We're going to mulligan again. Mulligan again. Mulligan minus one. Okay, that's going to have to work. Keep scry. Alright, let's see what's going on. And actually, before I do... I said, sir. Sorry, Cabin, I'm distracting. AZ is awesome. To I was... <laughs> I mean, on fire, <laughs> but you know. Alright, so we're going to uh, look at the top card. Ooh, silver, silver gill. Ooh, I'm okay with that. Ooh, tricky. God. Man, I want to keep it. I think I have to, because otherwise I just don't have a lot of merfolk going on. Um, it's it's kind of slow. It's only a 2-1, given what I have here. Hmm. Maybe I should shift it so I can get some more, but we're going to say that's okay. Cool. Human. Yep. You got it. Nice. Okay. Well. Mm-hmm. Gonna draw a card. Gee, I wonder what that was going to be. Hmm. Okay, so should I? I think I should play the Mutal Vault here. Well, no, I'm gonna play the Silver Gill next turn anyway. I may threaten. I may change their plan if I do it that way. Oh crap! Crap! That's not what I was trying to do.
darkness, my old friend. <sighs> I've come to talk with you again. God fucking damn it. I <laughs> know. Sorry. Okay. Well, take five. <gasps> okay, um, well, well, I'm such a bad player. That, okay, to be fair, no, honestly, IRL, I might have made that same mistake. Honestly. This is why you play decks with which you're familiar, folks. So you don't make stupid mistakes like those. Too often. <sighs> I'm killing me, Smalls. I'm killing me. This is, these are presumably attacking. Swing seven. Yeah, no, that's a lot. Um, how do I get out of this? I don't. Thinking. So the obvious one, I guess. Um, I can spend two of these, Silvergill and a Biomancer, to block the biggest one. Oh, jeez. Or I can just spend the Silvergill to stop the smaller one. I'm really not in a great spot now. If I don't block anything, if somehow I do not block anything, and I draw another land. That's important. I can play, I can get a Lord out, and I can get the other Lord out. I can uh, Violin, uh, Lord of Atlantis, and I can play Mirror Regery. <sighs> Oi. Yeah, not good. I'd have to spend all three of my creatures just to kill Thalia at a point when I really don't... I mean, it's just spreading seas and first strike. That's what I'm worried about. That's not nothing, though. That's not nothing. So Lord's here. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Thank you. Thank you, folks, for cheering me up. Lord's here are incentivizing me to keep my creatures. That's what's making this a little interesting to me. Um, if I just take it... I'll take it. I think I'm supposed to take it here. Oh, jeez, Jay. Oh, jeez. Alright. Mm. They both cost blue-blue. Okay. Okay, so if I flashed in, if I flashed in the trickster for Thalia, I could spreading seize their land. Not that that's doing much right now anyway. Again, they can cast everything in their deck now. So that's not great. It would give me a chance to draw into another land. But that's silly. It's the only way that I can get to play two cards this turn, this uh, turn cycle though. If I trickster, and then I'll have these open. But I think it's okay because I can get a Muta Vault here. Okay. I can play a Lord, and then Muta Vault shenanigans. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's this? 
dismember? No? Okay, I didn't think so. That would have been weird. Alright, we're doing it again, I guess. Never say die, folks. Never say die. Something is going to go wrong here. I can feel it. Something is going to go wrong. Okay, but as it is now, before shenanigans, this is a 3-3, and so I believe that it should... Thinking. I feel a dismember coming. Jeez. Now, dismember is a two of. It's not that many. Five cards in hand. All right. I believe that this is correct. Hold. Okay. Called it. There is a reason I said hold. I was debating double blocking. Okay, well, to be fair, by this point, we're not, it, this is, these are games that don't count, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, I can't unsee the dismember now. Um, like... No matter what, the Muta Vault and first BB are dead. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> I exploded Doom style games one and two. Is there a league and how do I join? Uh, it's a little late for this season, my friend. Um, I'm gonna say these two are gone, no matter what. Okay. Um, since this is for fun, can we play it conservatively and drop like this? Then let me do it like this. All right. Oh, by the way, there's a there's a link. There's a Discord link. It's probably just a day one invite, but okay, that's fine. All right. I did feel a dismember coming. All right. So one, two, three, four. And that's dead too. That's dead too. So I lost my whole field there. All right. Well, this is this is looking grim. Uh. So on upkeep here, I'm actually going to keep it on two, and I'll draw. Well, of course, of course, as soon as I say I'm keeping it on two, that happens, of course, as you do. Pass turn. This does have flash. 
So I don't even have to use the vial, it just straight up has flash. Uh, one thing that I could have done, which I'm not going to do, but one thing I could have done, you were at 8. Oh. But you were at 8 on what I suppose could be termed the bright side. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess there's that. Uh, so what I could have done is trickstered to remove Thalia's ability and then spreading seas. But again, we are well past the point where that matters. Uh, I can actually use this to kill Thalia. See, uh, so... Tar tap target creature and opponent controls. It loses all abilities till end of turn. Are we dismembering this again? Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, so I'll be taking three. Just three, though. Thankfully, just three. Both. Wow. <laughs> three now. Um, trickster's ability. Let me read that again to make sure. Loses, oh, nope, no, you're right, you're right. Sorry, it doesn't become a 1-1. One, one. I don't know why I thought that. I blame the lack of coffee. All right. Well, that happens. So uh, we're gonna untap. Gonna do our stuff. Yeah, I, there's no excuse for not tapping up there. GG. Whoo! You got me. You got me. No, it's not. As long as Phoenix is around, so is mainboard gut shot. I did. It's great. Best infect card ever printed. It's not invigorate, but it's but it's good. By the way, Phoenix has changed. Slam in fact. True, but slam in fact. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm going to uh, really quickly go and get an invite to mine, to my Discord. Make a little link here real quick. Besides, isn't that big of a meta all told? It's like an eighth of the meta last I checked. Plays extraction over gut shots now. I can see that. It's it makes more sense in the mirror. Dredge is a thing, you know. It, I can see that. Uh, and it really doesn't get gut shot anymore. I'm gonna reveal to my opponent. I'm gonna shame reveal here that I did not uptick the ether vial. Sure, why not? Play. Sure, we'll get it. We'll get another game in, folks. This has been embarrassing. This is T1 Glistener Elf, and. Uh, See ya. Ah, I just missed him. Well. <sighs> this is T1 Glistener Elf signing off. Experiences like this will keep you humble, folks. Experiences like this. Lessons, lessons to be learned. Okay. Um, pay attention to your upkeep triggers. Always, 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 always. Uh, play decks with which you're most familiar. Even a deck that can seem simple can be more complicated than you give it credit for. So if you play a deck with Aether Vial in it, you're gonna, you're not gonna forget that Aether Vial in turn one. You're not gonna forget to take it up. Uh, if you're me though, and you play Infect, you're gonna know the the workings of your deck better. No one's watching to the end of this embarrassing show, but if you're watching. Those are my tips now, so even in a format like Modern, which is pretty linear, it's, it's not all that branching of a format, play the deck you know. Absolutely get your reps in with the deck. Shout us to someone like 
Andrew Daytu Dryden or uh, Jonathan Nikachu Zaxic, who play the same deck time and time again, and it shows. They're good at it. And I'm, that's why I, when I play Infect, I do way better than when I play even good other decks like these. So, those are, those are my lessons for you. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.